Hello and thanks for watching this video. Uh, in this video we're going to review, um, first re do a quick review on how to, to uh, complete a certificate and make sure you're able to get a certificate after you've completed a course and, uh, and then focus on how we can uh, share those in LinkedIn. So let me go here, once you've logged into your Modern Apps Ninja dashboard you can see courses that you've enrolled for. Uh, it's important to make sure you pay attention to the start date because uh, you can uh, enroll for courses to express your interest before the actual start date. So when you, once you've enrolled in a course, you'll see them here, uh, even if they haven't started, right? So just, uh, again, uh, make sure to check that start date. So uh, once you have um, completed uh, and requested a certificate for a course, you can see those right on your dashboard view. Uh, but, but let me first review real quickly how you can re make sure you request and, and get a certificate provisioned. So let's go into just uh, this Intro to Tanzu portfolio course. Been a little slow here. Let's see, there we go. Okay, and um, let's go here and uh, select learner here for the learner view. And so, as you've uh, if you've gone through these courses, uh, I'm sure you've seen that the courses have uh, have surveys and or sorry assessment tests uh, at, at various stages throughout the course. And so, when you um, you go through and um, and complete those surveys. Uh, the progress of the different surveys is collected on this progress tab. Must be busy day on site here. Uh, and uh, so you can see here as uh, each one of these different columns uh, represents uh, a required assessment. Uh, and uh, cumulatively across the different tests, apparently there's probably one I added since uh, I originally took this course, um, but we can see there's one, two, six different assessments uh, in this in this particular course, and uh, you can see that uh, on your total here that as you take the different tests, it it uh, adds a cumulative total, and you have to complete a pass the passing mark. And once you've completed the passing mark, you see here where this says your certificate is available. Um, Actually, before it'll say your certificate's available, it'll say um, you know you you can request a certificate right once you've once you've achieved the passing grade. Until you uh, have achieved, achieved the passing grade, you shouldn't see anything in this area here. Um, but then there's a the link here right where it says view certificate. Initially, it will say request certificate. You can click that link. And uh, in a few seconds, usually it'll uh, change from request certificate to view certificate. And, when, and once you have that, you can click, you know, view certificate and see the certificate of completion. Uh, when you are, are in, logged into uh, Modern Apps Ninja and you click this link to view your certificate, it uh, gives you this header bar. So you've, you've earned a certificate and add to your LinkedIn profile, download as PDF, and there's a link here uh, they've added that says claim my badge, and um, at least for me that doesn't do anything, uh, but I'm, I'm looking into that to see if, uh, if uh, the digital bad badging is an option with our hosting provider now, or um, you know, what's going on with that link. So, but in any case, uh, these other links uh, work great, and uh, you can see the certificate, and, um, and so uh, from here you can go to add to profile, on LinkedIn, and that will open up the standard LinkedIn LinkedIn form for adding uh, certificates of completion and uh, things of that nature, other educational achievements. And so you can see here, it brings up this form, uh, and you can go in, and uh, it doesn't populate it for you, so you have to go in and populate it. But all the information you need to populate it is right here on your certificate. And so for for me, uh, I just like to include the name of the course I completed. So I can just copy and paste that information here for the organization. I'm going to put VMware and you'll see that VMware will pop up here. And um, I put this credential does not expire. You know, this isn't like a, a certification program. This is simply a, a certificate that said you completed a particular course on a particular date. And you can see that again on your certificate. So it says issued on May 6, 2020. So we can go ahead and say May 
2020. And then the credential ID and the credential URL. So you can see down here uh, the certificate ID number. You can go ahead and copy your ID number. Each one of these certificates gets a unique um, identification number. So we'll go back here and we'll paste that in here. And it also asks for the credential URL, which you can find. Uh, also, uh, you could uh, you could see here that this is a hyperlink. Um, so you could copy the link there, but it really just uh, links you to the same exact URL that you're on. So you can just copy the URL. And one thing to note about this is, as you can see here, I'm going to open up an incognito window where I'm not signed in, is that you can take this link, and if somebody who's not signed in, um, if you want to use this as a, as a verification to a third party, uh, you can go ahead and just enter that URL and hit enter. And as you can see, when you come at it, when you when you enter the link, the same link, but you're not directing from your own, um, you're, if you're not logged in and, and clicking that view certificate option you saw earlier, but you go just directly to the link, it doesn't give you that header. Um, it just brings you directly just to the, the certificate. And uh, so that way, uh, people who aren't logged in as you, if you'd like to show them, you can, uh, they can see your certificate. So. I'll copy that link and I'll paste that into the credential URL. Now notice here on the bottom of um, the add uh, license certification box it says we no longer share uh, changes, licenses and certifications with your network. I'll learn how these are shared and there's a link here so you can follow that link and um, that brings you to a thing say share profile changes with your network and what that'll uh, walk you through doing is going into your uh, LinkedIn profile uh, clicking on your me icon and going to settings and privacy <clears throat> and uh, once you get to settings and privacy you can see this uh, second link here that says how others see your LinkedIn activity and I can see here that um, let's see share job changes education changes and work anniversaries from your profile uh, currently I have that set to no, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, change that and uh, click the change and that expands here and I can click this toggle and we'll say yes and that way once I um, once I go ahead and post this update to my profile it'll be shared with my, my LinkedIn network which is uh, I think a great way to you know let let your peers know that you're you're uh, advancing in cloud native technologies and, and frankly I think it's it's great for a benefit to the community as well as it'll um, help to create awareness and visibility about uh, about the community and hopefully uh, become a, a great asset for for your peers and connections and uh, and so I'll just go ahead here and I'll finish my post I've got everything uploaded and I'll go ahead and click save and that's uh, in a nutshell is how you can uh, go ahead and, and uh, make sure you get a certificate of completion and once you have it how to uh, share it on LinkedIn. Thanks for joining the video.